Shah Halal, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the brothers that are across the four corners pushing this work in faith and truth and sincerity. My name is Yeram Yahweh Yahweh from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm today going to a quick little topic of dealing with Esau. Best to title this video is on White America Meet Your Demise. That being said, I'm just going to get into the um, definition of what the word demise means. What's the understanding behind it? All right. Go right here on dictionary.com. Okay. The word demise. It means death or decease. First definition. Second definition. Termination of existence or operation. The demise of an empire. Law. A death or decease occasion the transfer of an estate. A convenience or a transfer of an estate. Okay, we're just going to the etymology of origins from 1400s to the 1450s. Late Middle English. Demise. See. Old French. Demise. Basically, it just simply means death. Hold on, slacking. 1442 from Middle French, demise from feminine, past participle of the meat tree, dismiss or put away. From death away, and meat tree, maitre, put. So basically, to put away. And basically, that's what's going to happen to white America. It's going to be put away according to the scriptures. Um, Let me see. Get a precept. That's what's going to happen to white America, or basically Babylon, or the nation of Edom, which is the forefront, which America is the forefront of it. Uh, Where's that scripture? Here? Yeah, this is Revelation 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Con. And that Babylon is speaking of right here in Revelation is talking about good old U.S. of A. Your, your demise, you'll be put away just, according, just like the Re Revelation 18 and 21 states because of all your wickedness. You know, you, you saw in this country and rape, robbery, and murder, and it's gonna return upon your head. And in this video I have, I'm gonna be showing you a little snippets of what's gonna to happen to you, Esau. You're gonna to have to bow down to us and serve us. Cause we're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shine that day, okay? And what, what bow bow down means, um, let me see. Basically it means to prostrate yourself. And you look at it up, it goes back to an origin of a word called straight tongue. Prostrate it basically means to throw throw oneself down before, and that's what you're gonna have to do. All you nations, not just but the nation of Edom being the forefront. Let me get you out the, out the scriptures right quick. Um, showing that you're gonna have to bow down. All of that, um, all our adversaries, all our enemies. See right here, I'm just gonna. Um... All right, it's gonna be Psalms 83 and 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, that's the white man, the Ishmaelites of Moab, that's the um, Chinese. The Hagarings, those are Africans. Gibal, Ammon, that's the Chinese. Amalek, that's the uh, so-called Jewish people. Philistines, other Africans, are the Egyptians today. And the inhabitants of Tyre are sure our souls join with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Salah. So, see that? These are all the ones that are going to have to prostrate yourself. And we got into it with this... Um, Ishmaelite, and he was 
refusing to understand that he's going to bow down in the near future. Like you people over there in the minute you bow down before that cobblestone, but hey, the real cobblestone, you're going to bow before it's going to be the um, Yahweh Shah and, the, and his joint heirs. That's the children of Israel, that's the elect. You're going to be bowing before us in that day. Okay? But before you have to bow down, like it says in Revelation 18 and 21, 18 and 21 you're going to be met with violence. And this, this video is going to show an example of some of that violence that's going to be coming your way in the near future, before the kingdom is established. Because before you um, do it, you're going to have to be broken. Your spirit's going to have to be broken. Okay, and that's about it. So, um, Kyle Halal Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to all the Akim that are across the four corners pushing this work in faith and truth and sincerity. Shalom.